National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Green Bay Packers. Anders Carlson to kick off for the Packers. Here's Anders Carlson set to get this one started, and we are underway here at Lambeau. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And he's able to get this all the way to the 40 before going out of bounds. In the course of a game, we focus on the offense and the defense, and we give lip service to the special teams. It's way bigger than that. The third phase of any football team, and special teams provided the spark to begin this game. The drive starts with a run by White. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brings up second and five at the 45-yard line. They stay on the ground with White. Room here to run. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down, eluding the pressure right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. It's caught by Mike Evans. 20, five, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 44 yards. And the Buccaneers have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Packers nothing. Chase McLaughlin to kick off for the Buccaneers. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 24. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 24. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On play action, love to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Play fake. Here's Love. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Shaquille Barrett able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. Back deep for the Bucs is Devin Tompkins. Fielded at the 33. 
And he's going to be out of bounds right Kevin at Johnson midfield. The a good return there, 17 yards. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They will run with White out of the shotgun. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So first and 10 now from the 30. They keep it on the ground, wide again. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. On third down, Mayfield. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets them on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding. But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Run, run, run. They'll go up the middle with White, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 57 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Opting to run again here with White. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. 
I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Mayfield off the play fake. Completes it again to Gage. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Chris Godwin from 19 yards away. And the Bucs have taken the lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Chase McLaughlin, the kickoff for the Buccaneers. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Taken at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Packers take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Down. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. Credit Yaya Diaby with a stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here we go, set. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. Second and 10. Ready, ready. Love, they go play action now. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Shaquille Barrett, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Black shot. Drill green. Ready, go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And it's fielded at the 34. That's a 43-yard punt, aided as well by a loss on the return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 25. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass 
and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Point it right, point it right, point it right. First down, Mayfield. Flushed out right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Second and six. Hey, Lord, 33. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not hey. sure if he understood where the clock was located in hey, different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. He'll get that out to the flat to White. Hey, hurry, hurry. They're going to hurry back to the line now. A gain of six yards, and it's third Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Chase McLaughlin to kick off for the Buccaneers. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. Nixon now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Try to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. And this is caught at the 20. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 48 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. First down at the 19-yard line. Claude Ray. Hut, hut. Love from the gun. This is caught, it's Christian Watson. Touchdown! Christian Watson from 19 yards away. And the Packers are back within a score. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. 
when you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something free play, and they got it done there. Carlson's extra point up and good, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Well, he made the right choice by result but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. McLaughlin for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Buccaneers 24. Packers 14. Chase McLaughlin to kick off for the Buccaneers. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Nixon now from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. At their own 14 yard line. Ready. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're down now 24 14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Needle blue. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Okay, ready? Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Yellow. Black Ultra. Throwing. Love. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Here we the three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Mike, Mike. Rail, yellow. Set, cut. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher. 